Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a review of one of Dow's newest propellers. This is the Dow Prop T5040C Cyclone. So this is a new version in the Cyclone series. It shares a lot of other similarities of the other ones. However, it's quite different um, with the 5040, so the 40 pitch and just the general blade design and how light of a prop it is. It's more orientated towards freestyle. You're not going to be getting super high speeds off of this, I don't think. So if you take a look at it up close you can see it has a little bit of a back swept design there and then there is the scoop up in the front and then we have a pretty sharp um, wing tip out at the end which is quite nice um, the overall blade itself is pretty thin here as you can see it's actually really bendy so hopefully this will be a pretty durable prop it is a dial prop they're known for being durable but i don't think it's going to be on the level of a 5046 cyclone which is pretty much the most durable prop ever <laughs> So let's just get right to it and get a weight on this guy. So here is the T5040C. So it weighs 4.08 grams, so definitely a very light prop. So it's going to be easy to spin up and probably draw very few amps. And now the prop that this is sort of meant to replace is this guy, which is a T5040 or the HQ5040, just a 5x4x3. is pretty standard and it used to be sort of the best prop out there. So it's meant to sort of replace this prop, and that weighs 4.12. So it's actually just a little bit lighter. And then if we also compare it to the 5046 Cyclone, that guy weighs 5.18 grams. So it definitely is a very light prop. That's probably going to be very, very easy for the motor to spin up. So it's going to be very responsive and probably have some nice low end to it. So there's really not much more for me to say in this quick little intro here. So let's just get out and see how it flies. All right, here we are outside for the line of sight test of the Dow Cyclone T5040C propellers. So we have the Mode 2 Ghost Frame. The motors are the Brother Hobby Returner R3 2207 2550KV. Right there we have a Foxier Micro Aero, a Speedix IS30 amp 4-in-1. We have a Hyperlight F4 flight controller, TBS Unified HV Race, Emax Pagoda, just a Free Sky XSR with my Tyrannus here. And then for the battery, it's just a Tattoo R-Line 1300 95C 4S. Let's get this guy plugged in. Put different colored props on, so hopefully you can see it better, as well as we have the LEDs on this quad. Let's just set that guy there. Let's see how they fly. There's a little bit of wind out right now. <clears throat> so just right off the bat, sound kind of interesting. Definitely pretty peppy in the bottom end. Which makes sense with how light of a propeller they are and only a 50-40 pitch or a 40 pitch there. Apologize for the wind. Do a full speed pass. Try and get away from the wind here. Not if I can help. Full speed with the wind. Now nah, here's going to be full speed against the wind. So definitely not very good top end on these guys. Maybe 80 or 90 miles an hour. Not very good. They're not meant to be a full speed prop. It's very good low control, low throttle um, response. <laughs> Durability test, I guess. Still good. Our Dow Cyclone, so bound to be durable. Frame test there too. I smacked that guy pretty good. Fingers are so cold. It's like 20 degrees out. Yeah, pretty respectable there. Very nice and poppy in the low end. 
and see, do we have any damage from that little mishap there? No, no we do not. Everything looks good. Got a little bit of mud on it. But other than that, they're pretty bendy propellers. So they did just fine. And the frame's not cracked. So let's move on to some FPV. Okay, here we are for the FPV of the Dallas Cyclone T5040C. Just got this on the same quad, the 1550R line. This is sort of my normal race setup, minus the props, obviously. Just getting a feel for them here. Definitely do have pretty good uh, response and low end control. Like I said in the uh, line of sight part there. You just feel very locked in and controllable down low. Now we can go for full speed. Let's see, not very good at all. They just flatten out. No more than 90 miles an hour max. But not One. the worst I've seen. They're better than the uh, Gym Fan 5042 Wind Dancer in full throttle, I think. Um, but really hard to tell. But it doesn't matter for too many people. Hopefully you get to see how quickly they stop there. Obviously, 2207 um, set up 280 grams dry is going to be really powerful no matter what. But I definitely can feel that these are less powerful than the typical propellers I use, which are like 5152. But I'm just sort of more naturally inclined to do freestyle with these. 20 seconds. Just flying around. They feel really nice. And everybody else that I've known um, that has tested these so far um, says they're really nice freestyle props. 10, 9, Which eight, I pretty much agree with seven, already here. 6, 5, 4, And they're going to be pretty nice two, and efficient one, just due to how light zero. of a load prop they are to spin up. See, I've been flying for three minutes and I'm still at 15 volts. And I've been flying pretty decently hard here. This actually our, might be alright for racing here. Um, you can see, just doing this little figure eight circuit here. The really nice props, really you can use any prop for racing. Um, I think just the top end is going to hurt you a little bit. And the durability, since they're such a thin, light prop, they might not be too durable in crashes. So yeah, about three and a half minutes, I'm at 14.8 volts. Let's bring it in here. There we go. Okay, so here we are back after that testing, and I actually did fly about five more batteries through FPV. You can see I got my props all muddied up and everything, but the props actually held up here. Um, in terms of durability for the crashing, they are, you know, they are a dowel prop and they are very, you know, very flexible here. However, they do tend to sort of bend up here at the hub. There's just not that much material here. So for their weight, I would say they're durable. But if you compare them to a 5046 Cyclone, this thing, there's just, there's not that much comparison. These are definitely way more durable. So I wouldn't, I'm not really sure about if you want to use these for racing because they're, they just bend out of shape a little bit too easily. But for freestyle, it's not a big deal. They're going to survive your little branch strikes and stuff like that. But if you do hit hard, you're probably going to end up having to change a few props. In terms of the flight feel, it's pretty much just what you would expect from a prop like this. Very, very nice low end pop, very responsive. Not a lot of top end and very manageable, very efficient current draw there. So it definitely is a very nice orientated towards freestyle propeller there. And I was having a lot of fun flying it on this 2207 20, um, 280 gram build there, just flying around. Even though this is a racing build, it was still having a ton of fun freestyling with these on there. They were just really gave a really locked in and control feeling. Very, very similar once again to the 5x4x3. However, this is just a little bit more of an updated, more efficient design if you just look at it compared to this this is just sort of like a square <laughs> if you look at the geometries of it but in terms of flight feel they're very similar 
So once again, for the top speed, it definitely was not very good. Here is a new Ghost I have. These are the HQ5050 on here. Um, and the top end of these guys is probably somewhere around the HQ 5x4.3x3. Um, these 5050 HQ are definitely a lot faster there. So you're not going to be, I wouldn't think, um, obviously you could if you wanted to, but I wouldn't really recommend these for racing. They're pretty much a freestyle only prop and they're definitely going to favor a higher KV. If you have 2300 KV motors and you have a heavy build, I would not recommend these. I'd say you want at least a 25, 2450 minimum build, and hopefully it'll be under 340 grams dry, because if you have a higher weight and a lower KV than that, you probably want to be loading up your motors with a little more aggressive, beefy prop to sort of compensate for the weight and low KV. So yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the review there for the Dow Prop T5040C Cyclone. Definitely a very nice freestyle prop that pretty much replaces the standard 5x4x3, so that's really nice. There will be a few links down below if you're interested in checking these out. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.